In this video, we will look at the divide and conquer algorithm to compute the convex hull for the set of points. Let us consider these nine points. The divide and conquer algorithm has three phases. The first phase is to divide the points into two approximately equal halves. This divide or partition is done based on the x coordinates. The median of the points according to the x coordinates is considered as the dividing line. So, in this case, the points C, D, H, and B are in the left half. Let us call this as C, H, A. And the points A, E, F, I, and G are in the right half. Let us call this as C, H, B. Then the second phase is the conquer. In the conquer phase, we recursively compute the convex hull for the points in the left half and we recursively compute the convex hull for the points in the right half. Then the third phase is combined. In combined phase, the left convex hull and the right convex hull are combined by finding the line of tangent connecting the points in the left hull and the points in the right hull to get the convex hull for the entire set of points. The divide and the conquer phase can be easily performed, but the combined phase is little bit tricky and somewhat complicated. So, let us look at how to merge the left and the right convex hull. We start with the rightmost point from the left convex hull. Let us call this point as V. Then we will consider the leftmost point from the right convex hull. Let us call this point as W. Now we will check if the point V of the line segment VW in the left convex hull is the point for the lower tangent. If the point V of the line segment VW is the point for the lower tangent, then we will stop. Otherwise, we move the point V clockwise. In this case, the point V of the line segment VW is not the point for the lower tangent because it's not the lowest point in the left convex hull. So, we will move point V clockwise. That means select another point V in the left convex hull in the clockwise direction. So, we have point H as the next point in the clockwise direction, and this point H becomes point V. Then we again check if the point V of the line segment VW in the left convex hull is the point for the lower tangent. The point V of the left convex hull is not the point for the lower tangent in the left convex hull because it's not the lowest point in the left convex hull. So, we will again move point V clockwise. That means we select another point V in the left convex hull in the clockwise direction. So, we have point B as the next point in the clockwise direction, and this point B becomes point V. Then, we again check if the point V of the line segment VW is the point of the lower tangent for the left convex hull. The point V is the point of the lower tangent in the left convex hull because it's the lowest point in the left convex hull. So we will stop. Now we will perform the same steps for the points in the right convex hull but in conduct clockwise direction to find the lower tangent. So we will check if the point W of the line segment VW is the point of the lower tangent for the right convex hull. If the point W of the line segment VW is the point of the lower tangent in the right convex hull, then we will stop. Otherwise, we move the point W in counterclockwise direction. In this case, the point W of the line segment VW is the point of the lower tangent for the right convex hull because it's the lowest point in the right convex hull. So, we will stop and this is how we compute the lower tangent for merging the left and the right convex hull. Now, 
we will compute the upper tangent. So, we start with the rightmost point from the left convex hull. Let us call this point as V. Then, we will consider the leftmost point from the right convex hull. Let us call this point as W. Now, we will check if the point of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent for the left convex hull. If the point V of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent, then V will stop. Otherwise, we move the point V counterclockwise. In this case, the point V of the line segment VW is not the point of the upper tangent because it's not the highest point in the left convex hull. So, we will move point V in counterclockwise direction. That means, select another point V in the left convex hull in the counterclockwise direction. So, we have point C as the next point in the counterclockwise direction and this point C becomes the point V. Then, we again check if the point V of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent for the left convex hull. In this case, the point V of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent for the left convex hull because it is the highest point in the left convex hull. So, we will stop. Now, we will perform the same steps for the points in the right convex hull but in counterclockwise direction to find the upper tangent. So, we will check if the point W of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent. If the point W of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent in the right convex hull, then we will stop. Otherwise, we move the point W in clockwise direction. In this case, the point W of the line segment VW is not the point of the upper tangent because it is not the highest point in the right convex hull. So, we will move point W in clockwise direction. So, we have point A as the next point in the clockwise direction and this point A becomes point W. Then, we again check if the point W of the line segment VW is the point of the upper tangent for the right convex hull. The point W is the point of the upper tangent in the right convex hull because it's the highest point in the right convex hull. So, we will stop. So, this is how we compute the upper tangent for merging the left and the right convex hull. Now, once the lower and the upper tangent is computed, the merging is completed and we have the overall convex hull for the set of points. Let us analyze the divide and conquer algorithm to compute the convex hull. The first phase of dividing the points into two partitions, that is sorting the points according to x coordinates, can be performed in O of n log n times. Then, the third phase of merging the left and the right convex hull by computing the lower and the upper tangents can be done in O of n times. Then, for the conquer phase, we recursively compute the convex hull for the left partition and the right partition. Suppose the time taken by the divide and conquer algorithm is t of n. Then, recursively computing the convex hull for the left and the right partitions will be taking 2 t of n by 2 because the points are divided into two partitions of roughly equal size. So, if there are n points, then the left and the right partitions will have n by 2 points each. And then the merging will be taking O of n times. Therefore, the divide and conquer algorithm will be taking 2t n by 2 plus O of n times. So, when we solve this recurrence relation using the substitution method, we will be getting the time complexity as O of n log n. Therefore, the overall time complexity of the divide and conquer algorithm will be O of n log n to compute the convex hull.